Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this tutorial, I would like to summarize all the available options when it comes to uh, storing images in SharePoint. Uh, there are three main uh, ways to store images in SharePoint. The first one is to utilize a document library. Uh, the second one would be uh, to store and display an image through the image web part. And the third option would be to utilize an image gallery web part. Uh, they are kind of all related and you will understand why, but uh, what I would like to do now is go over all of those three options and uh, show you um, how they are unique as well. So let's start with the first option. The first option would be to utilize a document library uh, to store uh, and display images. Uh, now, for those of you who utilized all the version of SharePoint, you might recall that we had a special library just for images. Uh, it was actually called a picture library. And it was like a document library uh, where you would store um, you know, regular documents like Word, Excel, you know, PDF, and so on. Uh, but it also had some, um, you know, photo picture specific uh, functionalities, uh, like the ability to display a slideshow and so on. Uh, well, we no longer have this, all right? So in modern SharePoint, we uh, pretty much utilize the same library, uh, the same library uh, to store images uh, that we do to store uh, regular files like uh, Word, PDF, Excel, and uh, PowerPoint, and so on. So um, what we're going to do now is create a new library. So new document library, and you can obviously utilize the existing library in SharePoint, but I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to just call it uh, pictures. All right. And I'm going to click create. And this is where we're going to upload uh, some photos. So I happen to have some photos. Um, on my computer right here and I'm going to upload them into the library now by default you will notice that by default of course right it treats uh, those uh, JPEGs uh, as regular files so they just appear just like that just like a list but because these are images what we can do is click on this drop down and click tiles and look at this. Now, all of a sudden, uh, you kind of see this uh, thumbnails. And let's make this uh, view as the default view. Um, essentially, I'm going to resave it. So every time the users go to this library, instead of seeing the list of um, you know just file names, I guess, they at least get to see this. And now you can just click on the image, and you will see the image, and you can essentially uh, utilize the arrows to go through uh, all the images. Pretty much, you know, what you would typically, I guess, expect uh, from uh, uh, the regular, you know, photo library. Now, in case if you need to display those images, maybe uh, on a SharePoint page, let's say I want to embed those images on this page, here's what you can do. Uh, and there is actually a much better technique, but uh, that I will show you uh, a little bit later. Uh, but um, I just want to embed this library on my SharePoint page. So this just happens to be a, a page I created. And I want to embed a library here. So let me show you how to do that. Click Edit button. And I'm going to uh, add a, a web part called Document Library. And these are all the libraries. The one I want to embed is Pictures Library. And look at this. You see? So it now shows me uh, those same, you know, images from this library, and I can even maybe, you know, what I'm not, I'm going to hide all of this other stuff, so um, you know, users uh, don't get to see it, just like that, and click republish. So now I have a page with the document library embedded, and uh, essentially, yeah, now I can open those, uh, you know, photos from here and uh, view them. Uh, and uh, essentially now we have that. So I just explained to you the first option, how to um, uh, you know, add and display images uh, uh, loaded in a document library. The second option would be to utilize uh, our, uh, actually a web part called image. We do have a, a dedicated web part for images. We actually have two of them. 
Uh, the first one is called um, image web port. So let me do that. And um, you will find it right here. You see image. And essentially, uh, it just pretty much, um, you, you, you know, you, the way it works, you just pretty much choose a one image and uh, that's what it will, you know, it will display. Uh, it actually shows me uh, all the images that I, I guess, recently worked on, but let's navigate to our image. So it's in this library, let's display this one. All right, again, you can only have one uh, and that's pretty much it. What you see is what you get. So. Uh, in case if you just want to display one image, uh, you have a web part for that. Uh, the third option uh, is for a gallery of images. So uh, obviously with the second option I just covered, we could only display one image, but we can also display uh, multiple uh, images at once. And uh, the web part we're going to use for that is called image gallery. It is right next to that image web part right here, image gallery. And uh, the way it works, so I actually love this particular uh, web part because first of all, you can select, you know, images and add them, you know, manually, but we don't have to. What you can do, uh, we have this other option. It's called dynamically display images from a document library. So let me choose that. And the way it works, you have to pick the library where the images are stored. And we are going to rely on that uh, pictures library, that first option I just showed you. And look at this. So essentially what happens, it pulls the images from that library and you can specify how many to show at any given moment. And what I specifically like is this, uh, you know, different layout options. One of them is called carousel. And what you can do, you can actually create like a slideshow. You see, you can automatically cycle through the images and Every five seconds, the images will be cycled through the ones that are stored in the library. So with this option, uh, we are using the third option, the image gallery option. It's kind of kind of relies on option one, uh, number one because you have to have a library with images uh, to begin with, uh, which we already did. So I just configured this. So essentially, I just said, show me all the images from this library. And uh, I guess uh, up to 10 and then show me, uh, show it to me as a, a slideshow and cycle through and you can change, you know, how many seconds between uh, images. Let's republish and let's see the end result. So here it is. Uh, first of all, you can manually cycle through as well, but it will cycle through every five seconds, uh, just like uh, we set it up. So here you have it, uh, three options. Again, uh, the first one being a document library, uh, the second one uh, being the image web part, and the third is the image gallery web part. I'm pretty sure you will find use cases for uh, all three options, depending on how many images you have, what your use case is, and how you need uh, to uh, display them. But for now, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found this informative. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, and see you soon on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.